This video is brought to you by Osmocote, the planter's plant food. Hi, I'm Mary Ann Bonetti, and on this early spring day, I'm out in my garden, and I want to cut some fresh forsythia branches to bring indoors. Now, usually I start cutting my forsythia branches in January, before they're even in bloom. That's because if you cut this shrub um, and bring the bare branches in the middle of winters and put them in a vase of warm water, they're going to open up and bloom you know, up to a month earlier than they would outdoors. But now this forsythia is in full bloom and I want to take some more branches for indoors, but I want to show you how to prune to do that. So first of all, with forsythia, most flowering shrubs, wherever it is you prune is where you're going to get new growth. So rather than pruning in the, I'm going to prune all the way down to where there's a joint, where there's another branch coming out. So for instance, I take this off because I want these nice long branches to use in my vase. And what that is going to do, that is going to put those down, encourage wherever I cut to sprout out. So this one, for instance, is going at an awkward angle. I'm going to go ahead and remove that one. It gives me another nice long stem to use in my indoor arrangements. And then just go through anything dead, diseased, damaged, or deranged. A deranged branch is a branch that's going off in some crazy direction, unlike the rest of them. So I'm looking here, and I'm saying, well, this is kind of an older one. I see a lot of dead wood. I'm going to go ahead and cut that off. See all that dead wood? Because I can make those two shorter for my indoor bouquet. But it's just a form of when you're harvesting flowering branches from your shrubs, don't just prune what's the best looking. We're pruning how to shape up the forsythia or any flowering shrub the best. So over here, here's one that's a little bit crooked. Turn that all the way down. And just kind of look around for anything that is kind of nice long. So now, I've got a little bundle going here. I'll take these indoors, and I'm going to shorten this out. So they're all going to be about the same height. And I can then easily put these in a small vase and enjoy indoor flowers celebrate early spring. This has been Mary Ambonetti with Easy Answers for Great Gardens. If you enjoyed these gardening tips, subscribe to our channel so you can get updates on new videos and stay in the know about all things gardening. Click the red subscribe button below. See the description below for more information about how to connect with us on plantersplace.com, Facebook, and Instagram.